I think I've always liked making things from a very young age. Um, I remember when I was very young, I used to tell people that I wanted to be an inventor. I decided I wanted to study computer science at university. Um, partway through my computer science AS level. But it was probably my uncle, he used to make websites that got me interested in computing when I was maybe 10 or 11 years old. I'm glad that I didn't choose computer science when I went to university because, you know, it's been transformed um, in the couple of decades since then into a subject that's really worthwhile studying, that has a much deeper um, theoretical basis that it is worth spending three or four years of your time studying. I love solving problems and I love finding creative solutions. The thing that sets Oxford apart from most universities is that it focuses quite a lot on the theoretical aspects of computer science and that's what drew me. The uh, heart of our computer science course is using maths to understand what happens in computer systems from all sorts of points of view. So for example, how can we be sure that a computer program will always produce the right answer. How can we uh, be sure that it won't take too long to do so? At first sight, it might seem like being taught just this maths and not having any formal qualification in any particular language will, will be a disadvantage. But the thing is that if you're, if you're taking a degree here, you can say with uh, quite a bit of confidence that within a few days of um, getting used to a particular programming language, you'll be able to be proficient. The emphasis with us is getting behind current technology to teach you things that are going to last you throughout a career. Languages will change, will and have, and can change. So it's important the kind of grounding that we're getting is the one that we can change with those languages. It's not enough just, say, to put together a computer program that works. We're going to want you to explain why it is that this computer program works. The thing I have loved most about the course at the moment is the variety that it provides. We, we range from programming to hardware to logic and um, you get to dip your toes in so many different areas of computer science. So one particular module that we're doing at the moment is um, it's one called Digital Systems. It's basically, the best way to describe it is it's the entire story of, of computers from the logic and the electronic circuitry all the way up to operating systems. There aren't any options for your first year but in second year you get to choose about half of your subjects. We have not just one but three opportunities to do your own project work during the course. So in your second year we put you with a group of maybe half a dozen students and you, you build some computer system together. We don't really care what you make so long as you, you collaborate in, in doing something that you couldn't have done on your own. And then in the third year and if you stay for it the fourth year there are other projects which are individual ones. I have about 10 hours of lectures a week and about two tutorials as well, so that's about two problem sheets. Um, I also have between two and four hours of practical sessions. You have to have an eye for the details because um, I think anyone who's programmed will know that often it's, it's that one, one letter that you've missed in that program that's caused your, it to spit out five pages of errors. As you progress through the course, you can specialise in one area or another. I'm possibly looking at specialising in two graphics or maybe um, compiler design. By the time you reach the fourth year you have a completely free choice among the courses that we put on. The tutors and the, and the lecturers are definitely they're a resource that I don't think anything else can really match up to. You'll be working with other students who are very able and you'll be working with a tutor who is seeing you in very small groups, I mean one to one or one to two, so the tuition you get is tailored to what you need. Most people haven't had that sort of one-on-one -on -one experience uh, in, in their education before, but it's definitely not that bad because like the interview, the tutor's not trying to catch you out, they're trying to help you. I think the tutorial system is really important in your degree it's because you can ask questions when you don't understand the material, and um, maybe expand on the subject if you find it interesting. The thing that I, you know, I learnt here that I, you know, I'm surprised that I, I'd never met before is, that, is reasoning about your programmes. Quite a lot of the people who start computer science, they, they teach themselves and they do it on their own. 
and when you do that you kind of develop an experimental attitude towards things so you it's a, more of a try first think later sort of uh, way of doing things and it's not really sustainable in the long run. You are given so much work you just have to to learn to be more independent and to ask for help a lot more than you had to before. When you get here your your focus changes to solving problems how to solve them how to solve them efficiently um, which is which is really what computer science is about. We're looking for people who, um, you know, when, when you ask them a puzzle, they won't stop thinking about it until they've found the solution. Generally our, our interviews, I should say, are, are um, based around a maths or a logic question. We're not asking them to tell us about the technical things that they know. Um, we're asking them to think about problems that might be solved by a computer. They gave us a few questions beforehand to work through, so we went through one of those. The thing to bear in mind is when you look at the question to begin with it'll seem like you can't do it. It's very difficult but it's not really a cause for panic. That's definitely by design. It was a question that referred to some of the material in the further maths course and since I didn't do the further maths course I was a bit stumped but I told them and they just taught it to me, just taught this material to me in my interview <laughs> um, and I just and asked me to reproduce it on a different question. It's important that you vocalise your thought process because if you're silent for five minutes you may very well be working through a particular problem in your head but the person interviewing you has no idea. If you've said you've read something in your personal statement yes you have to read it. <laughs> I was asked about one of the books that I put in my personal statement and they expanded on it quite a lot so you've got to be prepared. They won't get in to study computer science unless they can convince us that they are really interested in the subject and that they don't just want to study it because it might lead to a good job. I'm the first person in my family to go to university, so it was quite a big deal. Not, not many people from my school went to Oxford, um, so it seemed quite unattainable. Something that, that many people believe about computer science when they think about doing it at university is that you've got to know a lot of stuff before you, before you can even apply. And the truth about that is that when you come here, we're going to teach you computer science from the start. I told my mum. <laughs> that, was, that was good. She was half, really happy for me. Um, I, just, I was just ecstatic for, for weeks <laughs> telling everyone. <laughs> The department has a mailing list and if, um, you, if you, you're paying attention to it, they definitely um, send possible internships to the mailing list. At the moment I'm considering doing lots of internships to figure out what I want to do when I finish my course. The career service here is fantastic so I can do lots of internships to figure it out. We find that about 25% of the people who leave um, go on to further study and that's particularly true of those who've taken the fourth year because it's really a preparation for further study. I would definitely like to go into industry, I'd definitely like to work um, as a software engineer somewhere. They would perhaps work at first in programming but would move on in time to, um, to managing um, projects. If I had to choose right at the moment, I think I would love to just be a programmer um, using my creative side. What we find when we talk to our graduates when we see them after five or ten years of leaving here is that they realise that what they've learnt here, whilst it wasn't just the technology they needed um, at the time, was something that would underpin their understanding of computing and take them through a whole career. Apply for the course, see how it goes. You never know if you're going to get in or not. I didn't think I would and I did, so it's always worth a try. Choose it if you're fascinated by the sort of problem, problem solving that we do in computer science. Um, choose it if you're, you know, if, if you already find yourself doing things with computers and uh, want to learn a lot more about that. Choose it because it's what you're fascinated by.